British government they should tell us what the appeared agent of Nigeria did to Mazen Namde Kano in Kenya before bringing him back to Nigeria. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Here I will tell you the things the way it is. Without missing words. According to the news of today, Nande Kano has continued to suffer in the hand of DSS. Both the head condition and everything. I believe you have not forgotten how he was kidnapped from Kenya. And we have come to understand the British government collaborated and paid a Nigerian agent in the name of DSS to kidnap him in Kenya. And to date, he has suffered and his health condition is threatened. And at the same time, they have refused him access to his own personal medical doctor. What they did first of all was to stop giving him his medication. And again, they denied him access to see his personal doctor. And this is the things people are not asking why. Because everybody believes that so far it's working well for him, any other person should go to hell. A man who did not commit any crime, a British citizen, was kidnapped in Kenya with the help of British and the appeared agent of flan extraction. And he was tortured in Kenya and brought back to Nigeria. And to date, he has remained in DSS custody, no prison yard, no Rama in prison. And they have stopped him from having access to his personal doctor. They continue to use his body for experiment. They brought in their quack doctors from pit of hell who has continued to say that they did not say anything in his body. Maybe time has come when we have to tell the British the truth. And that truth is this. They should not think that some of us are not far, far, foresight sighted. Some of us have foresight. Some of us belong in different things. I'm sorry for coming out here to say this. But they should not take us for granted. Some of us know what they did to Nam the Khan in Kenya. And time has come for them to surrender themselves by asking for release if they believe they did not do anything. But people like us are aware that there is something they did to him in Kenya that they are not saying. And this is the reason of his problem. The continuous deteriorating health condition. I don't know what it is about British government. They left EU with peace. Very peaceful without anybody killing anyone. No shot was fired. They left EU with a referendum. Something that Biafrans has been clamoring for so long. Biafrans did not tell you they want war. Biafrans did not tell you they want to, to fight you in any way. What they told you is that they want a referendum in the ballon box. This was what this gentleman was championing. He did not tell Britain that he's going to fight them. He did not tell the government that he's going to fight them. And for this, 
there was a plan between British government, the Janjaweed, and some Igbo politicians. But what we are talking about right now is not about his redemption, his torture, his secret kidnap. What we are saying is that this gentleman is suffering from head condition. And the truth be told, British government has not told us what his bad agent did to Mazen Nam the Kano in Kenya. This thing is going to affect everybody when the time comes. You may believe that it's not right yet in your doorstep, but we are going to bring it to your doorstep if anything goes wrong. We know what you know, British government. The best thing is to ask for his release. He cannot tell me that a man who is a citizen, not even a resident, a citizen of Britain, has been detained by frustrated Fulani government to date. The distant court of laws has freed him, and British continue to play Jasko in Abuja. Why they continue to allow that man to suffer? Time will come when they will tell us what they are hiding. What they are hiding, what is stopping them for allowing him to meet his personal medical doctor. Don't take us for granted. Don't angry me. I have said this from the beginning and I will continue to say it. Everything happening today is the handbook of Britain. The British government. And the best thing for them to do is to release that gentleman. As your so-called collaborators in Nigeria to release Mazen Namdekal who has not done anything wrong. A man who court of law has released. And believe me, time will come when you are going to tell us what you did to him in Kenya that brought his head condition that he is suffering today in DSS custody. Because this is no longer an easy thing. He continued to suffer. Continue to go down little by little. All we hear every day is this court said this, this court said that. Upon that, none of those court verdict was obeyed. DSS continue to do what they want to do. Because someone somewhere is giving them power, telling them to do what they should do, and nothing will happen. Dear says, You are doing wrong things. And like I said, don't think we don't know who you are. All of you. British. Time has come for you to back down and let peace reign. Jay.